Good evening, everybody. Thanks for choosing us for your news at 10. I'm meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of our first alert weather center. We're watching well to our north and to our west for an area of high pressure to reinforce some of our colder air as we get into the middle of this week. Clockwise rotation showing the clear skies and the dry air in place across much of the southern and central plains. It eventually makes its way into the Carolinas, but we still got at least another day before that happens. We do have a weak boundary blowing through the Midlands as we speak overnight tonight, some snow showers associated with it throughout parts of western North Carolina, a wave of energy moving across the Piedmont of North Carolina earlier today. We do not get any rain through the rest of the night tonight. As a matter of fact, clear skies, the air way too dry, but it will be cold and the breeze that we had through the afternoon, it's going to stick with us this evening and tonight so that by the time you're waking up and headed out the door tomorrow morning, a lot colder, upper 20, some of us around 30 degrees. So make sure you bundle up and prepare for the chill accordingly. And our mornings get even colder. By the time we get into Wednesday, we've still got a first alert weather day in place for Wednesday morning. Our morning lows as cold as 22 degrees. And that doesn't even take into account some of our out, uh, outlying places where we could get temperatures as cold as 19 degrees. So make sure you're prepared for some much colder air as well as checking in on your pets, neighbors, any plants you might keep outside, and your pipes. You're definitely going to want to make some preps for those before Wednesday morning. First alert feature cast with wind gusts showing that we have wind gusts anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour right now. Those continue throughout the rest of the night tonight, so it's a breezy and cold morning for us out there tomorrow morning. Though, thankfully, we have a lot of sunshine to work with, so we do thaw out. Now, our breeze stays with us through tomorrow afternoon. Unfortunately, that does cap our warming. High temperatures will fall shy of 50 degrees. Many of us in the upper 40s tomorrow afternoon. Still breezy tomorrow afternoon, and then by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, that area of high pressure I just showed you throughout the central plains, it builds into the Carolinas. As it does, our winds will lighten up once it's overhead, and when we have our clear sky and light wind by the time we get to Wednesday morning. That's our perfect recipe for temperatures to cool off so quickly. And since we're going to be around 20 degrees, that's also why we have a first alert weather day in place. Thankfully, again, thawing out quickly into the low 50s for your Wednesday afternoon and our afternoons gradually warm up as we get throughout this week. Upper 50s for you on Thursday out there. Temperatures around 60 degrees for Friday as we get into Christmas weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Not too bad. Partly to mostly cloudy skies. High temperatures around 60 degrees. Once we look ahead to Christmas Day, we do get a wave of showers around the Midlands by the afternoon and evening. It's not going to be a washout Christmas Day, but our pattern will turn unsettled again then with more rain as we head into the middle of next week. Cynthia.